Hey there everybody, this is the first day of proper snow, I'm carrying on with Yoni Wabam and I'm going to just change everything up a bit and I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do and then I'll do it and then I'll show you it. So first of all I'm just going to start off with running highlights all around the sort of adjacent to where the light green meets the, or the green in the crevices reach the green on the edge and I'll just run the highlight and I'll show you and then I'll tell you what I'm doing next. So I'll catch you in a minute. So there's the highlight on the green, uh, also on the, running onto the sword there. Uh, I also put in some white on the sword blade. I'm going to knock all this back with another layer of the luminous green and then I'll re-highlight it and I'll show you that when it's done. So that's the green all knocked back and then highlighted up again. And I'm going to start working some charcoal grey mixed with a bit of green uh, into the edges of the clothing where the green's adjacent to it. So I'll show you when that's done. So here's the grey highlights on everything but the trousers. And I'm just going to mix a bit of brown in to the grey that I've used for the highlight for this. So I'm sort of bringing out the brownness in the trousers with a brown grey. Uh, that's the brown grey down the trousers. I also sort of mixed a bit more brown in, like a, or a tiny bit of the grey in with the brown, washed over, removed it. Uh, just to, to matte down the tone and just keep that kind of brown quality so you get a bit of a distinction there between the brown grey to give it a bit more light and the sort of the black grey so then I'm just going to start doing the comlog and I'll be back in a moment yeah, it's going to put it in white and then fluorescent orange it up. So there's the coal log just painted in, uh, it's just painted in white and then filled with fluorescent orange and then using the heavy orange which is like a, it's, it's almost like an orange mixed with a little bit of white in terms of the tone just to give it that bit of um, extra glow. So then I'm just going to get onto the, the butt of the pistol which I'm just going to basically uh, give a sort of semi dry brush white and then using so it's the same that is a process that I use with the Kaisatsu Butai. So I'll just show you that and then I think that will be this done. So that's the pistol bud done. Also I've just done the first tier of stripes um, lightly very wetly painted in very thinly with white just so I could see where they went and then I've just run them in in um, heavy orange and I'm going to run them in in a bright orange as well just to sort of make them zing. I'm also just going to touch in the grenades on the on the pouch with a bit of green. Uh, it's a heavy green from the opaque range. It's just the darkest green I've got. And it's just because I want the grenades to kind of be a, just a different tone from everything else, different colour. So I'll catch you in a moment when everything is done. Here we go. He's got um, the orange stripes painted in on his legs now. And uh, as ever. Uh, call me or not you guys decide might do another layer of stuff uh, haven't quite decided yet but here's your, your twiz so I hope this has been useful to you just show in process now really uh, I'm going to cut back from the long plays and just show how I've been painting these guys so if you some used to you, I hope that's great. So enjoy your painting. Have a good and take care everybody. Bye bye.